I don't know how it's been for you, but Amazon has been the plug, okay, during quarantine. I've gotten some great finds. So if you're here for that, I've got you, boo. Keep on watching. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top Amazon decor finds. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing these items because if you're like me, you know, like I know, that sometimes Amazon can be hit or miss. And of course, I'm going to be linking all of them for you down below. My name is Chi Chi. If we haven't met yet on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I'm gonna start with this first item, which isn't necessary decor, it's more like home organization. And the reason why I'm starting with this is because when I first shared it on Instagram, it was an instant phase, so I figured I'd just lump it into decor, especially because of the season. And that first item is going to be this sunglass holder. So I don't know about you guys, but I love sunglasses. I am a sunglass fanatic. But the biggest issue for me is like where to store it. Those cute pouches that they come, that come with most glasses are great if you're putting it, if you have like one pair of sunglasses like to put in your bag and things like that, but like for storage. But anyways, I saw this one and I thought it was perfect to share because no matter what your closet situation is, you can find a, a spot in your wardrobe or in your room to store this. I also like that it's clear, so I feel like it's just unassuming and will, you know, work with all of your decor. Now, apparently I have too many sunglasses because I have some sunglasses up top. Um, and actually I was talking about sunglasses in my most worn um, summer accessories every woman should own. If you haven't checked out that video, I will make sure to link it for you um, down below or somewhere in this video. But yeah, I love this for storing sunglasses. I even like double up on some of my smaller sunglasses like here. It's basically in an acrylic case and you know these acrylic cases can be super expensive, but this one was relatively affordable. I can't remember how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it's under 25 because I wouldn't pay any more. I think it's somewhere in the teens. I will link it for you down below. So yeah, it's two different drawers, which technically can store six pairs of sunglasses, but currently I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It comes out if you want it to come out. I think it's super useful if you're like me and you love collecting sunglasses. So the next item that I picked up from Amazon, you can kind of see a little peek of it right there. Um, I've had this for several months now. I've had this since like the end of last year. To me, it's perfect for what I got it for, which is for to display pieces and to be in the background of my video. I love the fact that it's all white, which perfectly into like the neutral tones in my room. It comes in different configurations. So if you're interested in it, I will link it for you down below. You can actually buy multiples and like kind of like create a fake walk-in closet for yourself. If you know the price of like the Ikea packs is not really in your budget, this is a great option. Different types of configurations and all of them mix and match together. So you can literally create the perfect wardrobe for you. The only thing I will note is that you will definitely need an extra person when setting this up for yourself. You will also need to really take your time and read those directions. Finally, if you're tall like me, I would say this is the height of this is probably about five, five. It's perfect, especially if you're turning like a room in a and an attic into a closet or something like that because it's not super tall. It's a great piece, especially if you're looking to DIY a closet for yourself. As you guys can see, I love to have greenery around, hence the one in my background. I believe these are called foxtails, don't quote me on it, but I've seen these all over, all the aesthetic Pinterest accounts. I, I love Amazon for dried flowers, faux greenery, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would, in a perfect world, I would totally be a plant person, but it's one more responsibility, so I'll pass. 
<laughs> if you love, um, if you're a plant person, definitely drop a comment and give me some recommendations on some like easy plants to grow because like I, I want to have real plants. But for now, I'm enjoying playing around with dried flowers and faux plants. So now I have a couple of these in this small vase right here. However, they come in bunches of a hundred. So this is what they come in like this. And then you can trim them. As you can see, they're pretty long. Now, these are not the only faux um, or dry plants I picked up from Amazon. I have quite a few options for you guys linked in my storefront, which will be linked down below. I will share with you a couple others that I picked up as well as we progress in the video. So the next thing that I picked up from Amazon is a new chandelier for my dining space. I'm a renter and let's just say that the light that was in my dining space looked like it came from a house from the 1920s. It was old, it was busted, it was gross. Renter friendly upgrades you can make is definitely getting yourself upgrading the lighting in your space. Now, I was lucky, mine was relatively easy. You might run into some snafus where it's not so easy. I would highly recommend you read like the directions for the, read the reviews, especially if you're going to Amazon to pick up your light. That's what I love Amazon for because you will hear, you will read, a, you will have so much information about the pieces that you're looking for. And after reading the reviews, I was pretty comfortable. I love how the light came out. I love how it works with my space. I was really, torn between doing a light like this with the, or doing like something very boho with like the basket pendant light that I've seen everywhere. But I decided to go with the brass. It kind of worked well with the other light fixtures in the house that were also made out of brass that are, aren't as modern. So um, I will link this light down below. Such an easy install. Honestly, the hardest part, and I hate to say hardest, I, I would say time consuming part about this was connecting the arms to the pendant. But almost any chandelier you buy will require some assembly. So with that said, I will link it for you guys down below if you're interested. The next item I picked up Amazon, you guys have seen, cause this is in my Amazon's video from last summer, but I thought it deserved an honorable mention. And that is my snake plant. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember that it was in the background of most of my videos in 2019. And uh, she's right here. What I love about this snake plant is that it's under a hundred. It looks very realistic, okay? And honestly, if I hear that snake plants are one of the easiest real plants to have in your house, but if you're like me and you didn't want a real one because my old house had no natural light at all, but you want a, a little greenery in your space and you want something that actually looks real and doesn't cost a lot, I highly recommend this snake plant. What I like about it is like sometimes when you buy these faux plants, they don't, they don't come in a pot. They don't come in with that filler that looks, you know, realistic with the moss. Like you have to buy all these extra pieces in order to make it look like a real plant. You don't have that problem with this plant at all. It comes with the moss. It comes with a good pot. The pot is black, but it comes with a decent looking pot. It comes with the moss. So it really, you could just buy it and just leave it without doing anything to it, especially if your decor has black accents to it. Again, I also love that it's 100, under 100 because sometimes faux plants can be all the way 200, 300, 400, like $400, $400. <laughs> interested in it, it will be linked for you down below. Right now, let me know in the comments below what your top two finds from Amazon have been. Um, it doesn't have to be decor. Anything that you've gotten from Amazon right now that you absolutely love, because I know the girls will appreciate it and I would love to know too. So the next item that I recently picked up from Amazon is this rug for my kitchen. Um, I have this really long space around where we do dishes. And I know it's not only my house that always seems to get wet around the sink. We actually do the actual dishes at my house. I'm African, 
you know, if you got African parents, you already know. <laughs> so I always like having a rug around the sink. Brand for this rug, I believe is Savier. Uh, they make really gorgeous rugs. The rug in my living room is also from Savier, also from Amazon. I just realized I didn't even include that in this roundup. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I re recently picked up this rug. I like the fact that it has a lot of colors that kind of tie into the vibe in my in my kitchen. My kitchen is basically white and um, silver. And so I like that the fact that this rug has white, has some gray in it, and then it has some brown because there's some brown elements in my space as well. So I feel like it ties everything together really well. I will let you know in the description box what size I got because I originally got one size and it was too long and then I switched to another size. Like who else has the hardest time finding, like figuring out what the right size for your space is when it comes to buying rugs. I'm actually in the process of doing my dining area. At our old house, we didn't have like the space for a dining area because I converted that to my office. So in this space, we actually do have that space. So my budget was trying to keep everything under a thousand. And for the most part, I think I've been able to do that. Um, I went on Pinterest, of course, and I pinned a bunch of different um, room ideas and I, and so my chairs came from Amazon so I wanted to do mismatched chairs because I love that look that kind of like hodgepodge you didn't really put in any effort but you actually did type look so I got these two woven chairs these are called the weave chairs and they come in various colorways but I I wanted to keep the look light and bright so my style isn't really coastal but it's also not really what's the farmhouse my style is kind of somewhere in the middle I also like some mid-century modern mixed in there I knew exactly what I wanted and one of the chairs on the ends to be this style of chair. Instantly fell in love with them when I saw them online. So I love the detail on these white chairs. I love that it's like a mixed media type of chair. It has the woven detail on the seat and then the arm is made out of wood. I love the white, how it pairs really well with the off-white woven rope. I just love everything about it. I love that it's architectural in nature. And I also love that the arms are a little bit lower. So there's not a high back. So originally I wanted only the two chairs on the ends to be like these. And then I wanted to mis mismatch the chairs. And I was interested in some leather chairs for the other four chairs on the table. Now, when I got these chairs, I love them so much that I low key wanted all the chairs to be just like these. And it was funny because a certain person in my family told me I should make all of my chairs the same. And I was arguing and telling them how, you know, I wanted that mismatch style and it was modern and hip and they didn't know anything about decor. Turns out these chairs were so good. But in the end, I decided to stick with my original plan, which was to mismatch the chair. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the mismatch styled um, dining chairs. Are you for it? Are you against it? Right now, I just love anything that's woven, cane, any of those sort of like earthy, sort of like natural fibers. I love all of those vibes, even with my linen. I love like the whole like white linen um, duvets and, and sheets. I love that whole entire look. I knew I definitely didn't want chairs that had arms just because I have bigger people in my family and I wanted them to be able to sit comfortably in a chair. So I picked out these leather ones. Now it was such an ordeal finding these dining chairs. I really feel like God had pity on me because I was looking for these chairs for like three days straight. So here's the thing, right? My table is whitewashed. Like I said, I love light, airy, and bright in my space. And so all of the leather chairs I could find online, they all had black legs. And I've seen countless different people on different photos on Pinterest of different rooms with people with chairs like this with black legs. But because my table was whitewashed, I really did not want it to have black legs. I really wanted it to look like they came together, even though it's technically mismatched. So 
After looking everywhere, I found silver legs, I found black legs, I found all kinds of things. I finally found these and I was able to get four chairs for $200. That is such a deal because two of those armchairs were more than $200, okay? So if you find a good price on Amazon, let me tell you right now, girl, buy it because you know that Amazon fluctuates their price based on interest. So if you find a good price, don't wait. I'm telling you now, because when I went back to look for the two white chairs on the arm, the price had gone up like $100. So just saying, just saying. <laughs> so my favorite part of these leather chairs, of course, is the fact that the legs are lighter in color, but I also like the, the, the leather on them. It's very soft. The chair isn't stiff. It has a little bit of cushion to it. I also really like the woven detail that goes across the chair because it really ties really beautifully into the white wash of the wood on my dining table. So the next item I wanna show you guys, again, it's not technically home decor, but you do wear it at home. And I got a lot of questions about this specific thing. So they are gonna be a pair of furry slippers. These were so popular, like they went out of stock so many times. They come in so many different colorways, pink, gray, I believe they come in black, and this white furry style. And I believe the reason why people love them so much, at least the reason why I love them, is because of that crisscross detail. It just, I don't know, it makes your foot just look really dainty and cute. They're just perfect for us right now since most of us are working from home. But the best part about them, the thing that I really like about them is the undersole is actually plastic. So if you have to run out of the house in them, you can. Um, I'm gonna put a link to them for you guys down below. Now, I know this is an Amazon decor video, but the other place that has been killing it, okay, lately when it comes to decor is Target. Did you did you fall in love with the Studio McGee collection like I did? I was late. I was late. Everything was basically sold out by the time I hopped on. I was so mad. Um, and then they had this new Casa Luna um, collection with the linen linens. Another really good collection. I love linens. I guess I'm, you know, you're becoming a grown up when like cute, nice sheets excite you. Favorite, favorite sheets to get are from Target. I don't, I don't think it's a threshold brand. And what I like about them is not only that they wash well, but they have this little technology inside of them that makes them like grip the bed. I, I don't know, like, there's one thing that drives me crazy is like when the sheets come out from under the bed and you have to basically remake your bed almost every single day. I hate sheets that do not stay put. These sheets, they have this like little rubber band elastic technology inside of them. Um, they really help them to grip the sheets and they stay exactly where you put them. I love when my sheets are like tight fitting to the bed and just crisp looking because I hate to iron or steam. Okay, so I love those sheets for that. So of course, I'm gonna link some of my favorites for you guys down below. The first item was like a super fluke, right? I saw this really large white vase. I was looking for something to put on top of our dining table um, and I couldn't figure out like what type of vase. Actually, I knew what I wanted from West Elm, but it was a little, <laughs> the size I wanted was a little expensive. Um, and then another place that had some great options was Ikea, but they were closed. Closed. Um, so randomly while I was just perusing Target, I saw this one random vase. I will do my best to find something similar for you guys. The vase actually had a scratch on it. And so I went to the front, I'm like, hey, can you guys find this for me so you can order it? They were like, girl, it's sold out everywhere. It's not even available in stores. So I was like, oh, okay. And but she was like, guess what? I can give you some money off. So she gave me I don't know, I think the vase was like supposed to be $60 and I paid like 29 or something crazy like that for it. So it was such a great find. And I just really love these very minimal architectural style vases. I love that look. If it's not this look, then it's the very like rustic, worn in look. But being that my table was already worn in with the whitewash, I didn't want to overdo it. 
So that's why I chose this vase. Again, I will link something similar, link some similar options for you down below. I did see some options on Amazon for you guys. So of course I got you. The next item I picked up from um, Target is going to be this coffee table book. Um, I feel like everybody and their mama has this Joanna Gaines coffee table book. If you're like me and you are like, you know, decorating your space, this is a great sort of like book just to give you ideas on how to set up rooms. Even if your style isn't like farmhouse chic like hers, you still learn a lot about how to create spaces. According to the book, she'll teach you how to create spaces you will never want to leave. But honestly, the main reason I bought this book was because I need I needed a coffee table book. And for whatever reason, coffee table books are expensive AF. Okay, they're not cheap, but you know, the Tom Ford book is like a, over $100. So I love that this was neutral, first of all. So like, even if, even if you take like the flap off, this is very neutral. It will go with all types of decor and affordable. So I'm gonna link to it for you down below if you are interested in it. The other book that kind of looks like this is the Architectural Digest book. It's also very neutral. So it will go with a space like mine. So if you have this type of space, it would be perfect as well. That's available on Amazon. Well, last time I checked, it was, it was sold out, but I will do my best to find a good link for you guys and link it down below. So if you had to choose, are you team Target or team Amazon? Comment down below. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You found it useful, got some great tips, um, and found a few decor knickknacks and patty wax that you can add to your own home. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that, that thumbs up button so I know to more, make more videos like this. And yeah, if you're looking for more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe now, turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. And when I'm not on YouTube, guess where I am? Just guess. Instagram, yup. If you want details on this hair, cause I've gotten so many questions on my hair, all those, all that information is available for you guys on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook. All of my social information will be available for you guys down below. If you're looking for even more Amazon favorites, make sure you check out this video. And for more of me, style tips, inspo, outfit ideas, etc., etc., check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be in the comments below.